Well, many Americans are returning to work after the holiday weekend, and it's another sign that the country is trying to return to normal. ABC's Alex Prochet has the latest from Washington in our top story this midday. This morning, another sign the country is reopening. Traders on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, the first time since late March. It's operating at about 25% capacity. Traders undergoing health screenings and signing waivers in case they get sick with COVID-19 later. The new normal after a weekend of packed holiday crowds around the U.S. While some cities reported beachgoers following coronavirus guidelines. From Daytona Beach, to the boardwalks of the Jersey Shore, to this packed pool at Lake of the Ozarks in Missouri, scenes of people not wearing masks and not social distancing. I'm a healthy woman. Um, was I scared? Um, I honestly was not. The local sheriff's office in Missouri saying in a statement they can't do anything to stop it. Social distancing is not a crime and therefore the sheriff's office has no authority to enforce actions in that regard. Officials are now asking anyone at that pool party in the Ozarks to self-quarantine for 14 days. I think they should have been a, a little more aware and, 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 and cognizant of, of the impact uh, that they would have. Leaders around the country are attempting to balance reopening with safety. The nationwide coronavirus death toll is approaching 100,000. At least 11 states are still reporting increases in new COVID cases. And Arkansas's governor says they are going through a second peak. Last Thursday, you also reported the highest daily total of cases since the crisis began. How much of this do you think is a direct result of easing restrictions? We did meet the gating criteria to enter phase one. There was alternative ways to do it. One is the 14 days to decline in cases. The other one is decline in positivity rates. So a lot of flexibility given the states. I think we made the right decision. Alex Prechet, ABC News, Washington.